Hello and welcome to NFT Decree. I'm Barry and it looks like tournaments are back on. So if tournaments are back on, I will play. Um, if it's not back on, then I won't upload this and you won't know. But I will instead do the play the pros hour and uh, switch over to normal play. Um, but tournaments have been down for a couple of days, so if they're back up, I'll get on it. Obviously the... Um, it doesn't look like it's proper because these points are definitely sort of default points. So it might not work, but I'm going to give it a try. So just have to wait and see if it starts. It's almost six o'clock or just turned six o'clock. Um, let's see if we can get a match. I don't know if anybody else even knows about it. I didn't think it was supposed to be happening, so... Maybe nobody else is registered, and I get an easy win. We'll give it a couple of minutes, see if it starts, and if it doesn't, then... New video time. Now, obviously, not played tournaments for a while. Um, but same deck, no new cards are out, so no meta to adjust to. <coughs> the one turn kill decks exists, that beat me yesterday. Um, but whether or not it will continue to beat me, I do not think so. As long as I get some card draw, that one turn kill deck's not too much of a problem. So we do have a game. And we do have an opponent. Superb. Xavier. Uh, so I'm going second so I can f dig deep for a um, for an owl bear if I wanted it. Um, I don't kind of want to give that up though. So I'm not, I'm not really going fishing. I, I probably should, right? I mean, this isn't the perfect hand. I could easily have sacked up everything apart from the ignition. I'll get one more turn at finding an owl bear, and if not, I might not necessarily see. I'll wait to see what he played. Um, so this is fine. Um, I am half tempted not to play anything, but I'll just burn because the more cards I have in hand, the bigger the, my mountain line becomes. So he could get a an owl bear here. And the reason I used Incinerate instead of... Ah, so he's Cultists. Okay, fine. Then we've got to play proper. Fine. So here he could actually get his Cultist big enough to take this out, which is okay. Because uh, I'll mute in and take them out. So this is a constant effect. So I could, of course... Um, oh, I mean, that's tricky. All of this is tricky. Well, my best bet's this and that, and then get in. And I've got a pretty stacked hand. Um, I just need to find the best opportunities for playing them. Just changing the sound output there. So he did the same thing, and that was the, you know, Take that out, he's got his draw, which is what he needs, but I have, that's probably the better choice of the two. He's used up one of his fanatics, if he uses up a second one on this, that's okay. Leaves him with only three, and get this down, this down. Uh, I mean, that's, unless he's got some way of dealing with, I mean, neither of that really matters. So what I could do is I could wolf this to mute one of them and kill the other one. Um, which is probably the best idea. Kill you. Get them spicy plays. I do like Wolf, but I don't have any in real life. Um, so these were the original Exodus cards. This is an original Exodus card. I think this might be an original Exodus card. 
uh, which makes them very hard to get hold of. So if you see this deck in the future, it's you know OGs, OGs only. Which kind of sucks. Yeah, I mean, that's reasonable. He's drawing up. So, he's obviously some sort of cultist deck, but he's not really getting going. Um, but he is holding me off well enough, so that's fair. I don't really care about that. So, I will, you and you... And that's moderately safe, just because he can't swing into it. If I'm worried about Banshees, which he might not run if he's a cultist deck proper, um, then he's you know he's got he's got to choose between one of these, probably this one, since this increases uh, over time, whereas this is just a static six pointer. Again, I could use a a bless here, so that's making everything cheaper. So now he can take out this with the buffs, but that's okay. Ooh, spicy. And yeah, he, he just has to sacrifice that. Um, so, oh, you're quite good. So without even touching you, you can go. You're a deployability, right? So you don't get any more buffs. So I will just run over the top. I mean, you can get quite a big board, but he's only got one thing that can attack. <clears throat> Although he could have combat cultists for frenzy, but my board's quite large now, um, so he's going to struggle to buff this and get a board wiped down. Cultists really have to come out of the the gates flying. And things like Owl Bear can very much slow them down. Uh, so now he's forcing me to take care of his creatures. Or at least take care of that. <coughs> Which I'll probably do. Because now he's got a board, I want to be dealing with it. So I could do two to everything, but that's not really going to help. Hmm, I could mute you. Um, I actually don't know what my best choices are. I do need to deal with his board. And I think the best way of dealing with the board is that into that. Um, I get... Uh, fine, we'll do it this way. You into you. And if I drop you, you just exchange. Or you get a board wipe because you are playing Ancestral Guard. So I will... He still gets a board wipe out. I'm not going to play anything. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm obviously quite low on cards, not seeing Bless for, for the card draw. So yeah, like I said, if I put someone else down, I knew I was going to get burned. So this is fine. Yeah, I could just turn them into cats. Or... Uh, I guess this is probably better. So now we're in a battle of attrition. Now he's still got five potential draw cards. You could have another offering and three blesses, but I have the same. So this is a bit of a problem. Um, obviously, you guys are going to... Mm, is that obvious? Two, two, two? I wonder... So what I wouldn't mind is still keeping a little bit of a board. So two. I mean, doesn't matter what way around to do this, right? And if he gets another one, I've always got the shepherd as a backup. So he's getting way more draw than me. Uh, I mean, he's had three draw cards, so that's why he's got three more cards than me. He's got another draw card. I just need to see one. <laughs> What's going on with the shuffle? There's three in here, one and eight. I 
and we're going to have to put an offering in just to flatten out that draw. And we have some Volvic Touch of Fruit Mango Passion. Other brands are available. If you can't kill that Liquidator, that was pretty, pretty silly to play. <clears throat> oh, fine, you're getting... Get rid of you. I'll just play you. It forces him to deal with it. He probably can. Again, he's got a lot of cards. But I do have the sort of get out of jail free if he just goes for it. So, I mean, he's had four. Is that five draws now? To mine none. Theoretically, he should be beating me. Uh, so, this is big. That could kill me. Or he could kill me. Wow. Look at all those black cats. That's fine. Gets over for four. So, three black cats. Um, so I can do both of these. Actually, is that going to cost me seven if I play it? Yes, it is. What a trick. Um, and plus, I didn't want to play that before this anyway, right? I mean, that would have been... That would have been silly. And there's no undo button. So, yeah, he burns that. And he's running out of cards as well. I still have three blesses to find. And probably a fair number of decent cards. If I can get a... I've already used two fire spirits. I don't think I've got any more. Uh, I could be in trouble. Oh no. Get out of jail free. You come down. You come down. Right, what you got? What has he got? Because he's also used two of these. So he's got the third one. Pum, pum, pum. Gets one over. Fine. Plays, plays two cats back down. Um, I mean, that was silly to, to use the cat. Is that, a, is that a hard cast adept? Wowzers. Um, I mean, two, three, four. I know that's a cat, so... I'm fine just keeping this until I need it. So he plays another cat. Plus whatever else he's sitting on. Nothing. Um, I mean, I guess we just burn you. Should have burned him last time, right? <laughs> but I was hoping to get something better than that. So this is fine. I'll steal you. Which will get killed by the cats. Um, Wowzers. So that last card's a cat, so I'm not fussed about that. You should probably put it down. There's nothing I can do about it. I don't know why he wouldn't. But unless I get something pretty soon, I'm in trouble. I need something big. Um, and I've played two owl bears now, so what else have I got in here that's going to to save me? But could be could be a loss. There's not much in it. Him having black cats is better than not having black cats. I just need the tempo to swing back my way. Which is not likely to do anytime soon. Ah, oh, has the game crashed? What a joke. Send report. Unreal. Yeah, I mean, to be fair, it could have just been another five minutes and I would have lost anyway, but uh, let's see what happens. Now, if um, 
I've already forgotten the guy I was playing. If he can't get back in, then that's annoying. Oh no, looks like we're going to a game two at least. So, I will, I mean you're, I do want to see you, but I don't want to see you now. I better keep, I better keep all of these again. Oh, if I top decked a Sylvia, that might have got me out of trouble. So that on its own is not exciting. Mm. I am half tempted to kill it. What could he put down turn two that's going to buff it? Not much. Uh, I'm going to kill it. <clears throat> now if he did that to bait out the ignition, because he's now got a liquidator, then I'm fine with that as well. Because liquidator does less damage. Um, and I'll just save up for the the burn. Um, fine, so I'll drop you. Then we're into Papa Blesses. Uh, so he's got the reducer on. So he's in with a shout. Um, I will... So he's going to go up to four. Ah, I mean, it's quite tricky. If he's going to go up to four, he can buff that. I don't think he can kill me. I don't think he can burn me and buff this enough to, to take me out. And then I'll go up to four and get the the board wipe, hopefully. But the fact that all these cultists now are going to be super cheap uh, is problematic. Um, so I mean, this is a little, so you muted, why would you mute that? Muting it doesn't do anything. Fair enough. Um, half tempted just to kill that. So I will, actually I think for the time being I just need to put on some pressure. I know that this isn't going to survive, right? He's going to get some sort of buff. can probably come over. Yeah, so that's enough to take out this. But he has to... He has to make a choice, right? And as long as he's swapping his cards for my cards, that's okay, because cultists only work when there's a lot of them on the board. So here we will bless. And we'll bless into owl bear, I suppose. So this is now at Van Meter range. Uh, that's okay, though. Fire Spirit will just bomb that. So going up to six, I might Calipalic first to see what I get, in case I get an Incinerate, um, which it did, which I'm then just going to do that way. Because that will let me draw back up. And now, I've got options. So playing this first before the, the Fire Spirit, let me see what I was going to get. Um, you know, there was no other cards to be drawn that turn. Um, so hopefully these are all going to be quite weak. Whatever this spits out. Which they are not necessarily, but I can... I can Fire Spirit. I can... Uh, I can't quite kill him is the problem. I can take out you though, and still survive for two damage, and I can, I just have to go over. So he does still have to, he does have to take out the board here, which he can probably do. But if he doesn't, then that is game. And even if he drops something with Fortify and leaves this alive, 3 and 2 would be enough to finish him. Uh, so is that 4 for everybody? That swaps. Um, I mean, it's not a massive problem because I've got, I've got the win in two turns here. Um, so I will... 
I mean, if I... Like, he can't kill me, so it doesn't matter. I'll just... We'll do it this way. And I don't really care what he plays, because he can't do 36 damage in one turn, and I'll just archer his face. And then we'll go into game three. That is not strong. Oh, of course, that came out for free, right? Because of the executioner. Ah, uh, yeah, that's fine. Pa problem. I, I overshot there because I just did not want it to hit one of them. That would have sucked. Right, game three. Obviously looking to win. Why wouldn't you? Once the game starts, I'll have a quick check on Discord, see what everybody else is up to. But here we go. Um, so I guess you go, I guess, in fact, I guess all of those go this time. Um, certainly since I've pulled another one, I'm fine with that. And obviously since I don't have an owl bear, uh, so that's also fine. I will, um, you know what, I'll just play that. Because I don't really mind if he hits me for one or kills himself on it. Saving this for a time I need it is more important. Um, this is all fine. So now I can get the owl bear, and you can take out you. Uh, but, you know, we're... This coming out in turn four for him, right? So for turn three for me, where he's got four mana to deal with it, is far less bad than uh, it coming out in turn two when he's only got three to deal with it. Because if all he got down was this. Like, why do you keep muting that? It doesn't do anything. It's a six-six. Um, I'm just going to burn the board because, like I say, cultists only work when there's a lot of them. Ooh, another owl bear though. That's tempting, but we'll get you down in a minute. No rush. Board control, far more important. The fact that Qualipalic, uh spawned a tornado is pretty good for me. Pretty lucky. Just give me another board wipe uh, against cultists that like to go wide. That is why it's in there. I do only run one of them though. There's my two drop slots. Oh, look at this. No worries. I mean, I, I don't see how he takes care of an owl bear every turn, but you never know. Six is enough for a brainwash. That's fine. Um, I should... I'll probably kill you. Actually, uh, oh, but you're more of a problem. Um, all right, let's do it this way. So six five, you bash you, you bash you, and now he's on seven, so he can uh, ban meter monster or tornado, depending on whatever one he's got. Oh, he doesn't have it, so this is going to be a painful turn for him next time. Uh, Alright, so you can get you can get rid of one of them at least. Yes, <laughs> that is the correct. Okay, so he's not in any real danger now. But I'm also going up to seven, so I can wipe the board. Um, I might just have to outpace him now. So if he has to spend on the board wipe, which you'll probably have to... So 
So he's got to have a board wipe, otherwise he's in trouble. And if he does have the board wipe, it's going to be pretty expensive. I don't think this dagger works properly. Or is it the other dagger that doesn't work properly? The plus one, plus one. So does he get a card? No, I think you have to... If, if nothing else, I think you also have to survive <laughs> is the, the other part of what that dagger doesn't tell you. Um, so this is all fine. Um, we'll just burn the board. Six, six, two... And, I mean, you can, you can wipe this, I suppose. Make me go fishing for something that can do two damage, either a Dark Priest or a, an Archer. Yeah, so if I, if I fish out one of them, it's all over. In fact, it's all over anyway, unless he's got some way of... He needs at least a Fire Spirit here to stay alive. No good. And I will quite rudely send over combat cultist. So that is round one. Um, let's see if we get into round two. Oh, ready? Immediately popped up so hopefully somebody's sitting waiting. Oh, mango passion sugar free. Delightful. Mid Vizonka. Big Bidonka is more like. Wait, what? Does that even make sense? Um, do I keep you as a backup? Because you'd come out turn three, my turn three, I get nothing. Ah, we'll go fishing. I got the liquidator to. Yeah, because I would have had the liquidator. He would have had to deal with that first. Mm, maybe I could have kept the mountain line there. But maybe not. Uh, it's nothing turn one. Nothing turn one for me. I mean, this is. It's an exciting turn twelve, right? <laughs> So he can't afford an owl bear here. So if he doesn't play anything, I presume he's going to be sitting on an owl bear. Um, but he does. So I will. I mean, that's a great answer to. To this. Because now if he plays an owl bear. I mean, it's still a problem for me, right? But. Um, it's not a huge deal. Does he have another one? So see on cultists as well. Interesting. Um Well no board wipes. I think I just have to draw. And then next turn. I mean these guys are gonna be buffed, so maybe I'm not gonna they're gonna be out of sort of lightning strike and ignition range. Ideally he just plays an executioner. Okay, so this is fine. I've no board wipes in for a number of turns yet, so let me. Um, I guess burn you, burn you. So this guy's still going to get big, but I just need to. I just need to not take as much damage. Like the the smaller I can keep his board, the the better chance I've got. So he can now drop two hateful mobs. I really need to see a fire spirit. Um, <laughs> Ask and you shall receive. Uh, and then the next turn I can banshee him if he gets big. But we'll be taking a few hits. So I need to stabilise and turn the tide. Uh, is he going to do it again? He is going to do it again. Woof. Just huge. Um, let's have a think then. I will... I need to take out as many of them as possible. So I'm probably going to mute one of you. I'm going to drop you. I guess I exchange this one. Because this is still Bansheeable if it comes to it. 
Um, but here you just, you know, you can send this over to deal with it. But next we're on turn seven, so I just have to, I just have to not take too much damage this turn. And then we can turn it around. So that's okay-ish. That's going to survive the, the Van Meter monster. But you just, as he gets fewer and fewer people we can put down, um, it just becomes less and less of a problem, really. So that's okay. Um, I'm half tempted to... You can't do anything anymore. Fine, we'll do it that way. There's no real point in playing you. So we're only going to go up to 8, where I could get two of my own ones down. Interesting to know what's in his hand. I presume he's got some board wipes. <sighs> Such a problem. Um, fine, I guess I take out one. And if only you were damaged. He might help me here. I just can't seem to, to swing the tide. I've got the cards, I just don't have the space to for the removal and for the proactive place. So he's going to get the two thingies again. So this is okay. If he ignores this, which he might, this is... Uh, I don't have enough though. Um, four damage. I can't... I have to take this out because I just can't keep bleeding. So let's see what else he's got. The problem is I don't have massive... He's going to get the chance to put things down again here, right? And even though I get two of these down, say, it's just not really going to help me. So if we... Yeah, I mean, that's crap. So we drop you. We drop you. And I guess we drop you while the going's good. So he's definitely got, like, a board wipe in there. And he might, he might just ignore it. Like, he's got two-turn kill on me. Um, he might, he just, he should probably just go for it and hope for the best. Uh, so this is cool. Um, I need five on that. So I need to start... Both of these die to any kind of board wipe, right? And the chances of him playing multiple ones of those is slim. So let's get as much damage down as we can. One, two, I don't know, I don't know if I can come back from this, but it's going to be pretty close. That's not a massive deal. Oh, you son of a gun. Sure, right? Um, this is fine-ish. Um, so I can play two of these. What's my solution? So four, Banshee. Right, so you have to... Yeah, one of these has to get hit. You come down here, you come down here, you have to take out you. Um, fine, if he's got another board wipe, I can survive just. Um, this is not easy. Ah, oh, he's come back. What's your last card? Ah, oh, he's got the two. <laughs> Bullshit. <laughs> oh, well, that's fine. Just had my number there. So I did adjust my deck to deal with Cultists more. I put back in the, the additional Fire Spirits. But then I took it out for the one turn kill deck that everybody was on. So it's sort of just meta calls. Um, for what, what you want to put in your deck. Um, if people are playing Cultists, um, I should probably go back to having those board wipes. So I'm just going to fully mulligan and hope to get the lead with the, the owl bears. So I've got one owl bear. 
Um, so the only thing I'm worried about is the liquidator. I just straight up played that. So I'm going to also assume he's got a vile recruiter in hand. Ah, you see I'm in trouble now because I can't answer these until next turn. Uh, so this is fine, ish. Uh, so you come down, mute one of you, kill yourself on that. Oh, things are getting spicy. Um, yeah, I think I've lost this again. This doesn't have the defense to, to survive. So then he drops another hateful mob, another hateful mob, one of them takes out this. Yeah, with no fire spirits, I've lo I lose this, right? Um, he swings over for a pretty decent amount of damage. Um. And that would cost me two, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Um, so it's going to cost me two, it doesn't really matter what way around I do this. I have 100% lost this. You got a pretty dream start. So I guess I'm going to have to amend the deck to put the fire spirits back in. Oof, game. Concede. I'm not even going to make you do it. <coughs> GG. Oh well, that's that. Um, fine. Um, I guess it's... Right, let's go to decks. Meta. So, oh, I do have three fire spirits. What else was I putting in that was dealing with... And I've got these, and I've got these. So what did I change? I definitely need something to slow them down more. Hmm. Don't think I was unlucky. I mean, I still need brainwashes for the big creatures that you can't deal with in the one hour. So I can't change that. I don't want to put in tornadoes. Could put in more Calipalix for the lower end. Like Sylvia. Sylvia's a win more card often. Um, it's good though. Um, so if I need to I need to bring the curve down so I've got more cards to play, right? So Sylvia's out and Archer's out and two Calipalix are in, I think. And that'll have to be that. So fine, I'll do a power hour now. Um and if you get if you beat me and you're in the Mythic Guild, you'll get entered into a draw for prizes. But until next time, this is NFT Decree signing off. <laughs>